Hey everyone, it's Rosser, and I believe that we are getting into chapter 10 of the quarry, but I'm not 100%, so let's see. Okay, is this chapter 10? Yep, chapter 10, bricks and mortar. Oh my. He's no devil dog no more. Oh man. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Oh my gosh. Laura! <laughs> well, at least the, the, the um, deck was there. Where the hell am I? Oh, yeah. Wow. He has no idea. Clothes are back at the prison, buddy. Pretty sure. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Gotta find Laura. Oh, well, at least he has something to wear. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. He's looking good in his little sweatsuit. <laughs> Oh, gosh. All right. What's this over here? Matches? You should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yep, you should have just went to the motel. I guess we'll take this trail. Oh, fuck! Oh, wait a second. Is she alive? Oh, no. Maybe she is. I couldn't see what that was. I don't know if you could. Well, can we just try to see if she's alive or is she actually dead? Well, that stinks. That would have been cool if everybody was saved. But that treehouse did look familiar. Like, I remember her being there. I wonder if he was the one that attacked her. Hmm. Was her hat? Lara's hat? I really do like Lara. And I like Max too. 
I hope they make it out of this. What is he doing? Swim to shore or stay? Swim to shore. Oh, what was that? Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. I hope that thing in the water that we saw a few chapters ago doesn't come alive. Is somebody up there? Oh yeah, he made it. Ah! Oh no. Oh man. I shouldn't have swam to shore. Dang it. The table, help me. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. We need to get to Abby. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, that's right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Caitlin, man, she's been rocking it out this whole time so far. everywhere if I can Doors are freaking me out. Oh, nothing's there. I wonder if they want me to go upstairs. Oh my gosh, that bear scared me for a minute. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs.
We gotta find Abby. She's in the office in Hackett's uh, room. It's a nice lodge. If I can find any cards till well <laughs> What's that? Jeez, you can see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. I wonder if I'll find any more cards. I don't know. I think we're getting down to the nitty gritties here. Oh, can't go through there. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, there's something over here. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like, Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. That was Bobby. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Bobby. All right, let's go up these steps. This is like an attic, maybe? Yes. The High Priestess. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. True. Because I thought she was like, I really liked her in the beginning, and I thought she was really helpful, but now I feel like she's bad. She's a bad girl. this way. Oh, nothing. Okay. Alright, I'm coming. Let's go. Let's look around some more. Who's that? How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the lodge's chimney column. A long time ago. Hmm. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I want to keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. I hope it's not too late. Uh oh. Harem scarum. Ticket stub. Hidden behind a photo frame, this ticket stub is an indication that Chris Hackett and his two kids attended the traveling show Harem Scarum six years ago. Huh. No, a absolutely not. We, we have enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, it's just a wall. <laughs> oh wait, this is where Abby should be. Oh no, wrong place. Oh my god, this place is huge. It's fun though. I like going through all this stuff. I hope that I have time to look at everything. Was it like an arts and crafts table, maybe? A little classroom. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, nine sight. So. What? Memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Sounds about okay. Right. Well, Ian had that collar. We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. That's weird. this trail cam footage it's like they're looking for something mm, that's probably with the, from those videos and is in that guy's uh yeah, in Hackett's uh, closet in Chris's surveillance room he's storing all the footage I think you might be right Looking out the window. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. <gasps> that was weird. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. Oh man, I'm starting to get freaked out. Oh, a ring. Where have I seen this emblem before? Inscribed jewelry. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. What is it? Big boy Bobby. The crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. <laughs> you can never pull it off.
All right. Um. Yep, I guess we'll go back this way. Oh man, I don't have a good feeling about this. Wait a second. Oh, she can't go down that way, it's blocked. I already looked at everything over here. Come on, Dylan. Oh my gosh, I'm freaked out. Whoa, what is he doing? What was that all about? Did you just see the way he walked? Hold on. Can we try that again? That was funny. <laughs> all right. Come on, Dylan. Let's go down this way. No, he's not going to walk like that again. That was funny. Uh-oh. Why is my camera different? My camera's, this is kind of freaking me out. Okay, oh my gosh, that window's open, no. What's not okay? Better. Oh. There's something over here I'm supposed to see? I guess not. That was the weirdest camera angle ever. Oh, we haven't even gone in here yet. Okay. This is the kitchen. I think that's Abby's bag. Yeah, that's Abby's bag.
let's go this way, Dylan. I wish Dylan would talk to me more right now. It's very quiet. Oh goodness. Do I have to go back upstairs? Yep, I guess I do. I feel like Dylan, Dylan kept wanting to go back upstairs anyways. on you, brother. I'm missing something. There's something that I've have not found. Don't know what it is, but it's something. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long. There's the hackets. I've already been up here, but I don't really know what else to do. Should I go and maybe try to open the door back up? I, I don't know. Wow, 
Why does he want to walk this way? We were just in there. This is taking way too long. It's already in here, but did I miss something? Where do you want to go, Dylan? Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm just trying to like figure out what do I do? What's my next step here? I should go back into that one room. Yeah, I'm gonna go back into that one room again. Is there anything up with this fireplace? I think it was this room right over here. Yes.
Huh. Nothing. Dang, I don't even know. I have no idea. Find a vantage point. I mean, I, a vantage point would be upstairs. Prepare for attack. Is that all I had to do? Oh, my goodness. Through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Not beats for life, we're proud to say. Sick. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> to come through the chimney? Does she even have enough ammo? Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Wow. <laughs> well, there's one in the house with you now. <gasps> oh my gosh, I saw it. It's coming up the steps. Wait. Oh, I hope I made the right choice. Kill it! Go! No! Oh no! Oh no, my buddy. Oh, we should have ran. Oh my gosh. You're not gonna wanna help her. You're just sitting there. Silver shells. I can time this right. Beam window. 
window. I don't know why, but the window looks looks good. God damn it. Go! Ugh! Go, 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 go. What? Why didn't you just close the window? Hide. Hide. Go, 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 go. You're going to hold your breath. Oh my gosh. Go away. Oh man, she's gonna run out of her breath. It's, oh gosh darn it. Man, he is evil looking, isn't he? Oh my gosh, here we go. Uh. Dang. Oh no. Wow. That sucks. I'm not happy at all. This is sad. They're the only survivors. How did you do it? What exactly happened six years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? Yeah, really. How are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <gasps> oh my god, is that him? Oh no! Hello, wake up! God no. Oh my gosh. No. I didn't hit it in time. Shoo! 
That was nice of her. Oh my god, run over his ass. Yeah. Run over him again. He can't have just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Oh my it's gosh. Are you crazy? Wait, what happened to Ryan? Is he okay? Are we there yet? <laughs> okay. No, we're not there we're yet. Better, but... Aww. I'm so glad that he's at least alive still. Honestly, he's been my favorite since the beginning. Over here. I liked just how different he was from everyone else. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. That's what you want. I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's do it. Let's end this. Let's fucking do this. Yes. Go team. <laughs> She's wearing a dress. I like it. Place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. Oh, I thought she was saying silence. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas. The wolf boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Hmm. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? I know, you might as well just be open about it. Come on. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. 
It's just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Oh, wow. Anything. That's Why crazy. That? Whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Ah, uh, okay. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, Ryan, be careful. Please. <gasps> oh my God. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. Shoo. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. I wonder why they've never found him before, though. Oh. Oh, there's that walkway from way earlier. Whoa! Jesus Christ. <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Ray's gun. Shoot. 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 I just did. What are you doing? Pull the trigger. Shoot, you stupid girl. Oh, my God, no. Oh. <gasps> What? Oh no. Oh my God, no. Oh man. Well, game over, the end. Oh wait, Abby's still alive, right? <laughs> Thought you were clever, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I knew my boy would be okay. With me watching over him, I'll never forget what you tried to do. I've been with you all night, you know. I oh, screw you. I'm not about to stop just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, Whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck. That's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now, I'll 
never leave you. I'll never leave you. No. Okay, well, um, I'm not really happy with my choices. I did try to shoot the gun the second time, and I guess I just didn't hit it quick enough. Because had I shot him, I probably wouldn't have lost Lara, the cop, or Ryan. So, pretty sad right now. Um, but there's still hope. I believe that Abby is still alive. Um, and there's still more to the game. So, let's just keep rocking it through. Um, I will say I probably will be playing this game again. And I've been keeping log of all of my decisions I've been making. So the next go around, I'm going to make completely different decisions and see what happens. Because supposedly, um, the outcome is always different. So this will be interesting. Anyhow, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next chapter. Bye.